Woo! What a day, what a day. Every day is what a day. Right? So I'm sitting here, you know, thinking about stuff from this song called Analyze by Tom York. Here, let's start it over so you can hear what he says in the beginning. So, uh, so he says, uh, what's he say? Did you hear him? Check it out again. A self-fulfilling prophecy of endless possibilities. Is that what he says? So that got me, uh, got me to thinking, uh, just, you know, about my parenting life. And although I have made some mistakes, the mistakes that I've made are within the realm of, uh, Minimal impact. I say that because the things that I've made mistakes with, if my children can see how I made those mistakes, then they can see how to not make the same mistake I made. That's minimal impact. Maximum impact is where you uh, make such a mistake where it's impossible for the child to learn. Anyway, so I was thinking about my parenting and my parenthood. And Trinity and I, as some of you know, have battled. And I, we're, okay, so we're both stubborn. And there is, stubborn is, in my world, stubborn is just uh, neutral. Actually, in my world, in my head, how I relate to the occurrences here, every single thing in the world is neutral. Everything. How we connect to the neutrality, how we connect to that neutrality is what's gonna create a positive or a negative charge. Apply this with everything. I do. I'm not telling you what to do. So, being stubborn is not positive or negative until... Wait, wait. Stubbornness is neither positive or negative until we connect with it. So, sometimes I connect with stubbornness out of spite... And that's, that's a negative charge. And sometimes, most of the time, I connect to it with a positive charge by remaining stubborn in a positive, true belief, regardless of how much the water is swishing me around, around me. Now, Trinity and I have been battling uh, we've come together and figured some things out and then we battled again and it uh, seems like we're figuring things out again. But while we are in transition from being positive to negative with our relationship or negative to positive, in that transition, Trinity will sometimes say things to try to hurt me, which she obviously learned from my mistakes and in life and, and my verbal, my inability to keep my verbal sensor in check, even with my kids. So, you know, no big deals, nothing wrong there. But my stubbornness with Trinity is I'm holding, I'm, I'm, I'm not allowing our relationship to exist unless there is respect, gratitude, gratefulness, 
encouragement, acknowledgement, honesty, and truth. If none of those are existing, I can't have a, I cannot have a relationship with my daughters, or I can't have a relationship with anybody. So with Trinity, she was resisting this, the some of it. So she would say stuff like, "Yeah, you're a shit dad. You were good five years ago, but you're a shit dad now." You know, stuff like that, just out of anger. In those transitional periods, from a healthy relationship to an unhealthy relationship, from an unhealthy relationship to a healthy relationship, those two transitional periods. The thing is, I am very convicted in how I've been parenting. The conviction that I have is so strong that words are impossible to sway how I feel about it. Impossible. So Trinity's words are falling on deaf ears, so to speak. Uh, I, I, I bring this up because I notice that there is not a lot of conviction in some of the parents that I communicate with and they're they're questioning themselves. They're questioning whether, oof, that sucks. They're questioning whether or not, uh, uh, they're questioning their own parenthood by putting any weight into those angry accusations that children throw out at us. The lack of conviction reveals to me that you've not forgiven yourself for the mistakes that you've made as a parent. Being unable to forgive yourself for making the mistakes that you make as a parent can go back a little bit further to being unable to forgive yourself for the mistakes that you've made in your life. We all have a huge mistake in our lives. We all have one. The one that we're unable to forgive ourselves for, we pretend like we do by forgiving ourselves for everything else but that. I suggest discovering the profoundness of forgiveness. For real. Peace!